Hello everyone, Audrey Grace here with your inclusion tip of the day. How many of you have heard of the golden rule? Well, we were taught from a very young age that we should treat others, people the way that you want to be treated. Um, and that's a noble goal, right? However, I want you to start thinking about the platinum rule instead. The platinum rule is to treat everyone the way that they want to be treated. What's the difference? Well, we all have different stories, different life experiences, and different ways of seeing the world. And unconsciously or not, we don't treat everyone the same way, um, nor should we. Uh, in order to build a more inclusive classroom environment, uh, inclusive meeting, inclusive world, we really need to get to know others enough to treat them the way that they want to to be treated. Uh, here's a quick example. Uh, you can't tell I'm a classic extrovert and I like meetings where I can jump in, say my thoughts, uh, not commit myself to them, but I like that sort of in-person brainstorming process. It really does energize me. Uh, however, my prior job, I worked with someone who was a classic extrovert and the thought of jumping in and saying something was paralyzing. Um, so in meetings together, what I would do is I'd send out agenda items in advance. I'd make a list of decisions that needed to be made by the end of the meeting. Um, I allowed time and space in the meeting for quiet reflection and then I allowed an opportunity to participate after the meeting and uh, a time where they could send me an email or update me on things that they wanted to add that they weren't able to share during the meeting. This is a simple change. It still allowed for that creative process um, that energized me um, but it did make a world of difference for the team decision-making skills and allowed everyone to share their ideas and participate equally uh, regardless of whether they were an extrovert or introvert. Um, so in short, what can you do to get to know other people in your life and to treat them the way they want to be treated? Ask them questions, get to know them on an individual le level and making, make sure that you create a space where they can be themselves um, and they can share with you how they want to be treated. And that's your inclusion tip of the day. Uh, be sure to follow the Center for Inclusive Excellence on social media at, at Regis Inclusion and share with me your tips for inclusion. Email them to me or to diversity at regiscollege.edu. Um, let me know what's working for you and what's not. And I hope to develop a whole library of tips uh, for people as they help to create a more inclusive world. Thank you.